Then you found him. There'll be a settled faith if you're Methodist, Baptist, Catholic, Presbyterian, whatever you may be. If you find Jesus as your own personal Savior, not through the shaking hands with the preacher or the doctrines of a creed, but through the finding of the Lord Jesus. And the churches today making their creeds thus. They're robbing God. They're taking their doctrines and making the commandments of God a non-effect. It doesn't have the effect upon the people. Why? Because our man-made theology, our doctrines and our creeds has shut the blessings off from the people. And they don't have the opportunity to receive it. They know nothing about it. They just know that they belong to church. And that's why we have not fellowship the church is one with another. That's why that they have a revival and the other churches won't cooperate with them. A certain denomination because they say, it's not my faith. There's only one faith. The Bible said so. Not faith in a creed. Not faith in a denomination. But faith in God. That's the only Faith that there is. One faith, one Lord, and one baptism. The Scripture says so. And now, after going journey all day looking among their kinfolks, and they couldn't find him, I wonder tonight, how many people in here have went over to the Baptist church? And tuck up with the Baptists. Now, there's nothing. I'm not kicking against churches. I'm for every one of them. But what I'm for is, against is they're making their creeds and drawing lines and boundaries. If every church stayed right straight on the Bible and just read it the way and don't tamper with it, just leave it the way God wrote it. But they'll go a little piece and say, oh, that was for another age. It's no other age. God is the same yesterday, today, and forever. Now, you'll go a day's journey and you'll look around and you'll see a certain creed and then you'll think, well, maybe this is it. And you'll go in and you'll look around. There'll be someone in there that'll do something. You say, this is not it. You'll get your letter from that church and take it over to another. And then you'll be in there for a few days. Or maybe weeks or months or even years. Somebody will upset that little apple cart of yours. And away you'll go with your letter somewhere else. And from there to somewhere else, you're never settled. The Bible said you're like wandering stars. Ships without sails, tossed about by every wind of doctrine, when the Bible forbids us to do that. Be stable. Know where you're standing. Don't base it. Now, you can be honestly sincere with that, being stable. You can be a stable Methodist, Baptist, Presbyterian, Catholic, or whatever more, just as stable. But don't be stable in your church doctrine. Be stable in the Bible doctrine. Then examine your doctrines by the Bible. Ask what Jesus was. If he isn't the same today, then your doctrine's wrong. You have an example. And he said, I am your example. I have given you an example that you should do to each other as I have did unto you. St. John 13. Now, but you find out that's what happens. Now, there's only one real way to find him, ma'am. If she couldn't find him among the kinfolks, she went back to where she left him. Amen. That's what the church ought to do. Amen. Go back where you left him at. Praise God. And there you'll find him, you Methodist Baptists and Pentecostals and Assemblies 
praise of God in all of you. Branham Tabernacles and so forth. Go back where you left him at. Reminds me of a chaplain some time ago at the Second World War. 